manifestation of capitalism in our society, something that we can see, something that we can actually experience. We cannot understand what capitalism is. All you have to do is look outside at the expensive restaurants and looking at the people that can't afford them, looking at the rents that people cannot afford, and seeing how people are physically rooted from their homes, and you can understand what capitalism is. You know, Chicago just had the biggest public school shutdown in the history of the United States, you know, and the communities that are affected are Latino and black communities for the most part. Um, so again, it, the, the fact that it doesn't just affect the kids, it affects their family, it affects, you know, if a parent has to go to work and they have to commute an hour to take their kid to school, it's going to deeply affect how then uh, they can keep their job or not keep their job. The feeling a person gets when they're in their neighborhood and they cannot afford a coffee that's five, seven dollars, or they cannot afford to go and buy a meal at a local restaurant because it costs at least twelve to fifteen dollars, at least twenty dollars. If you go to Talia Hall, you will notice that a lot of the prices are very expensive, and it's not the only restaurant around here that has those prices, and it's not going to be the only one. I would encourage them to be like critical. There's some community organizations here who like claim to be fighting for the people, and they're, they're more like poverty pimps. This goes on and on and on till all the, F or till all the uh, working class people are thrown out of their homes. And the only ones that are left are maybe a handful of people that are sticklers. And those who are left have nothing really to call, them so, uh, call home to. All of their friends are gone. Their churches are, their church communities have changed completely. Their community organizations have either been shut down or moved. And what do they have left? Walk around a community that's completely unfamiliar to them. It's almost like being in an alien world. Just be cognizant of the way that money influences politics because that's really uh, the crux of it, is politicians respond to incentives. They want to get reelected. They need money to advertise. And so that's how, that's how the, the system works and that's how power works here. Yeah. And so if you want to be effective in making change, you have to be critical and think about the money, think about the power, and just understand power.